MTA source just confirmed to PIX11 a little while ago that yes, the MTA did send transit workers down into the subway. So you get a firsthand look at how many police officers are really down protecting people inside the stations. And the answer that they found was you probably won't find a police officer in most stations. Transit officials conducted this system wide survey over the last couple weeks, making nearly 3000 station visits. On average, they only saw police at 14% of stations. On the worst day, they saw a 1% police presence. On the best day, 31%. Later today, the NYPD Transit Bureau will present its latest crime stats to the MTA. There was a 68% increase in felony assaults in April alone. Police Commissioner Dermache addressed the issue of safety on the subways on PIX11 just a short time ago. Well, I have no way to know, you know, how, how that study was done or if they're accurate, but um, I, I could tell you that NYPD cops across the city are out there every day, Dan, including in the transit system. Um, you know, I, I think as proof of that would be many of the incidents that unfortunately do occur. We have officers there right in the stations making apprehensions. So we're certainly not in every station at every time, uh, but they're, believe me, they're out there and they're doing the best they can. And to compound this problem, the MTA is also having an issue with fare evasion. The agency says 11% of subway riders hop the turnstiles between January and March and 22% of bus riders skipped out on paying during that same first quarter of the year. This translated to a $59 million revenue loss for the first quarter of the year for the MTA. And they are trying to get all the money that they can because ridership has been down, debt is going up. It's predicted that the MTA will have $47 billion in debt by 2023. Reporting live in Williamsburg, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.